Hi, in this video, we will describe how we study and analyze association between quantitative variables, akin to the concept of dependence and independence for categorical variables studied under chapter two. So this is your first concept map and video for chapter four. Let me share a whiteboard. So what we are about to do in chapter four is you may recall that in chapter three, we learn to display and to describe quantitative variables. In that situation, in that instance, we found measures of center and measures of spread, which allowed us to study quantitative variables by starting from the middle value and then moving forward to studying how values of the variable that are observed vary from that middle value. And that one approach in studying a variable of, in such situation was uh, the study of a quantitative variable by by amounts in some unit set. In this chapter, in chapter four, what we're about to do is not only describe one variable, but describe two variables in this manner. And what we will be doing is contrasting both variables, i.e. Uh, in both situations, uh, finding center, and finding spread. So that from the middle, of one variable, and the middle, or mean value of another variable, we can describe both the variable that I'm calling x on the horizontal axis, and this variable y, also in its own units, vertically, pair up in order to create observations, paired observations, that allow us to study how X and Y may or may not be related to one another. And that study of relating X and Y to one another, that study of association, is what in this chapter we call correlation. And correlation will provide us with a statistic, a statistical metric, that we use the letter R for, and R will stand for correlation. And correlation is a linear statistic, so we will explain what we mean for by linear. But it is a linear statistic uh, which measures association. The association, of course, between X and Y. Another thing it does is it helps us describe a model a linear model referred to as the linear regression model in which the variable x explains the variable y
although this explanation is not perfect, of course, because the data values that are paired don't exactly coincide with this line perfectly, but rather uh, in an estimated fashion. So Y will actually be estimated by an intercept and a slope such that there's an additional term and this term is called the residual or unexplained value of y. So there will be a portion that is explained by x and then there is a portion that is unexplained by x. So y's explanation is imperfect. And this is why statistics become a, an important part of the understanding of relationships that can still be construed as linear, but not perfectly so. So that's the goal of chapter four. Chapter four is the study of correlation and linear regression. Hence its title in the book. Thank you for watching.